So you guys are already in full pants. How has been the first two practices? Uh, it's been pretty good so far, a good experience. We all just trying to come together as a unit and find our identity, which is being fast and physical off the ball, being aggressive, which is not an option. You have to be that. So that's why we're trying to make, a, make possible and accomplish. Have you seen the intensity really pick up? Yeah, we ha I have. I have. You know, with our assignments coming along, guys know, that, know what to do. We know what to do. You can do. You can play very fast. So as long as you know what to do, how to do it, the game is a lot easier. How much is it going to help to go against the guys on the other side that you have? Oh, a lot, a lot. You know, veteran guys like Grenard, obviously coming in, now he's up there with the ones and twos. And Zoo, who's a great, phenomenal player, who's got a lot of experience, it's, it's, it's actually setting us up for a, a, you know, a good foundation for the teams that we have to see this season, just the positions that they can play and how, how versatile they are on defense. They're like, they're really good guys. They're not just any guys that you get off the street, just put out there. They're really good players. So. That's preparing us for a big season, actually just seeing those type of physicality and athletic guys who play buck defense van, especially interior Schuler and Kyrie. They're good players, so it's not like we're just out there practicing against scrubs. They're really, really good players. And what about this game? Because Grantham's always uh, got something. Always got something. We're seeing something new every day. Which, And when you're getting ready for games, you're, you're going to see two or three different things. You obviously got different pressures, but you're not going to see as many different schemes and all these blitzes and all this coming from this way and that way. So obviously you want to pick it up, you want to get it done and get used to it, get used to seeing these different fronts. Also, it's giving us a chance to see these fronts, seeing these schemes and preparing us for whatever team we may see during the season and that week with that different type of scheme. So I mean, you were at a, you were at a former school with a really great defensive mind running the show. What's Grantham separate him? Um, what makes him different? You don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect. You don't know. You don't see it coming. You know what I'm saying? They disguise it very well. And the guys that are doing it, they're they're good players. They're a lot better, a lot better players. This is the SEC. You got to have good talent, especially up front in the trenches. And the guys on the back end who's getting it done, bringing the pressures and the blitzes and all this different thing, they're, they're just it's phenomenal. It's, it's way a lot different, way a lot faster, physical than that where I was before. Can, can you give me an example of like they disguise it? Give me, uh, give me an okay. example, like plus three or okay. playing. Okay, corner, you know, you got a corner pressure, and you don't see it, you got a safety outside the hash, and he's obviously dropping, trying to get back to play the middle of the field. But you know, the way that player is just, they're stacked. Sometimes they're probably outside or inside. And you're not going to see that. Just You're not going to be able to relay that and say, okay, it's a pressure, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to be able to call it just because the way we're taught, we're not going to say that's the pressure. So the way they're disguising it, you don't you know, actually see it. So there's no point of just going out there, and it may not be a pressure that time. So you're just getting ready for it. It's not that. So obviously you got guys like Trading who's playing a star position who can gotta get you and play and go back and you got safeties dropping back to the middle of the field and you just not it's not always gonna be just perfect. So a guy might be dropping back and you're like, Oh, he's in coverage and Yeah, that's exactly. Saying he's and that's saying he's a blitz or they got somebody replacing him that's blitzing off the edge. So it's always some different type of pressure. Is there anything besides reps that sort of helps with that? Uh mental, mental, mental reps. You know, you always can get physical reps. But actually, you know, your body only can take so much as camp. You're gonna have a lot of wear and tear. You're gonna, you know, gonna have minor bumps and injuries, but you gotta pick it up and keep going. But just sitting down, actually getting those mental reps in the meeting room, actually sitting there doing walkthroughs. Well, it don't matter if you're one, two, or three, you gotta get those mental reps. That's gonna put you way above, you know, a lot of guys in this, at this level, especially in the SEC. Mental reps, you know, you're gonna have good players wherever you, in the SEC, regardless who you play. But just mental, 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 that's why we harp on. How do you kind of compare your capacity to sort of process that in comparison to last year? Uh, you know, it's, for me personally, for me personally, it was it was overwhelming. And now when you sit down, you just take the time to review, 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 and it slows the game down a whole lot easier. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a fast game. So you can't sit there and think, I got this, okay, him, him, oh, take me to here. It's, it's too fast. The game's already passed you up compared to all the other guys who. So for me personally, I mean, knowing what to do is big. You know, knowing what to do, you can. Go fly, get it done. Especially if you get you guys at this level, they can do it. You can do it. Anybody can do it. It's just how you do it. If you know how to do it and when, how fast you can you do it. That's the problem. So you had to learn that. Yeah, I had to learn that. Getting it done, the quickness of the game, and now that I can get that done, it's not an issue. For the first time in the spring, you guys were getting reps together in the lines. A lot of new starters are playing together. How far has this group come along from taking the first few steps together in the spring to now in fall camp? Communication. Communication. We actually doing a lot better with communicating with each other, speaking. You know, we got Nick Boy at center who's always obviously had those reps and you got Stone and Brett Hagee who's played and started games actually in the SEC. You got Black who's right beside me. So on the right side we kinda look younger, but actually having those guys relaying the calls and then all of us relaying those calls back, you know, guys knowing what to do, how to do it and saying it, it's it's a whole lot easier. So we done progressed a whole lot.
but we're not there yet. We're not, you know what I'm saying? We're not content. We're not happy with where we're at. We want to be a whole lot better, so. Seems like this group made a conscious effort to work together in the off season, not doing individual workouts, but doing a unit workout together and then bonding off the field as well. How big was that in helping establish that communication and chemistry? Very big. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard for you to line up to a guy you don't hang out with outside of, you know, the facility. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have trust in him. Oh man, I'm sliding to the sea gap. I gotta know if this guy comes across my face in the B gap. He got me. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for you to have that connection if you don't talk to that guy outside of the facility. So we hang out a lot. We beat each other a lot. We see each other a lot. You know what I'm saying? We walking down, you know what I'm saying? Somebody could be walking to class. You pick him up on a scooter and just have a two minute conversation, drop him off somewhere. That's just building a bond that you don't have in a football facility. So those connections go way farther than you think. Do you participate in that pool wrestling, pool fights that, you know, yeah, Brett yeah, and yeah. Chris was <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, we, yeah, we did. We had a lot of that. Obviously, you see me bites, you know, bust his nose and was bleeding, but it's, it's all fun. Like, it's just, <laughs> you, you, you know, you're competitive guys, so like, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? We having fun, but that just brings us a whole lot closer and having trust within each other as a unit. Where do you stand in that standing, the leader board of the pool wrestling? Uh, I don't, uh, hey, them some big strong guys, so I don't even want to put a list out there because somebody gonna come back to me. Hey, bro, you know I did, like, yeah, so I'm just letting well, it go. Well, we hear Haggy's the guy. Yeah, yeah Haggy's a, he's a tough guy, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter if he got whatever going on, he can got three different injuries on his body, but he's still gonna find a way to get it done. With fighting, tussling, arm wrestling, he's still gonna find a way. He, he's kind of one of those quiet types, it's like a little scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's one of those guys, like, you know, he, when he, he shows up, he's gonna, he's gonna sit there, he's that one guy in the room that, okay, I don't know what he's gonna do, but when he <laughs> does it you like <laughs> okay you he doing it you know what i'm saying so he come with it every day do you, do you feel like uh if you look around the team at the experience level in the backfield quarterback receiver cornerback defensive end i mean most positions have some experience a lot of experience the offensive line is not as much uh, do you, do you, you know how, how do you guys kind of look at you guys uh the expectations of your unit and how you got to you know perform i see it as a challenge live up to the expectations you know you got a great ceiling you got a great team you got a lot of different positions that got a lot of experience so i see it as a challenge every day is something to step up to the plate and get it done like there's no there's no if ands or buts we have to get it done you know what i'm saying there's you got this you got a great team you got a great foundation and you can't just say, oh, this one position is holding us back. That's not acceptable. We have to get it done. We have good guys, good skilled players, and good defensive players all across the board. So we have to get it done, protect Felipe, give them time, and do our do our jobs. Have you seen guys like Richard Garage and some of those true freshmen really step up? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it, it's, it's big. We don't. You mean we need we need depth. Uh, we need depth. You want guys to come in and play and get experience because. It just any it's anywhere you go across the country. You have to you have to get guys prepared for the next year. That's just regardless of any situation that's coming up in the season. You may have three guys that get injured, forbidding that happens to us, but you have to have guys ready to go. So there's it don't matter if you're one, two, or three. You you got to know what you're doing. You got to know how to do it and be physical when you're doing it. You had a couple of you were a little hurt during the spring. How do you feel right now? Feeling good. Feeling good. Got that fixed and it's it's, it's on to the next. You know what I'm saying? So. Like you can't, you can't. As an offensive lineman, you're gonna get hurt. You know what I'm saying? The offensive and defensive line trenches, period. You're gonna get hurt. You know what I'm saying? You playing with 300 plus pound guys that just bang each other all day. So it's expected to get some of those necks. It's how you move and progress and handle the situations. If you could put any two guys on the team in a 